Hi all, welcome to Tiger and Cat channel. I'm your teacher, Kemi Kong. Today we are going to learn about part 3. Calculate KC, KP, or the quantities of species present at equilibrium. Okay, so for this part, right, we need to know how to form an ice table. The ice table can be expressed in concentration, partial pressure, or number of moles. There are a few steps in solving the problem KC, KP, or the quantities of species present at equilibrium. So I list out the step. So then the step can be interchanger. So step 1, balance equation. Step 2, form ice table. Step 3, form quadratic equation to find value of x. Step 4, okay, write down the KC or KP expression. And then substitute the value for the KC or KP expression and then get the final answer. Sometimes we need to check the final answer must be correct unit. For example, concentration is capital M and then partial pressure is in NCM. Or make a conclusion. For these equilibrium problems, right, there are two types. The first one is equilibrium quantities. Means the concentration, partial pressure are given, then solve for KC or KP. Or... Initial quantities like the initial concentration or initial partial pressure, KC, KP are given. Then you have to solve the equilibrium quantities to find out the, what is the partial pressure or concentration. Okay, let's check for a few examples. Okay, based on this exercise, we check. At a certain temperature, a mixture of hydrogen and iodine was prepared. So meaning that there are two types of mixture. One is iodine, one is hydrogen. And then the number of moles of both substances are given, and then volume is 2 liter. So after a period of time, the equilibrium was established, and then the equation is given. Okay, always highlight the keywords at equilibrium. So at equilibrium means at the final stage already. So the concentration of iodine concentration had dropped to 0 0.020 molar. What is the value of Kc for this reaction at this temperature? Okay, we just recap just now. Based on here, equation is given. Yes, I can form the ice table. So for this ice table, right, I focus on concentration. Why? Because the question asked to find KC. Okay, how to form the quadratic equation? Now, let's check. First, okay, you have to write down the balance equation. And then form the ice table. The ice table is stand for I is initial. C is change of the concentration or of the partial pressure. E is stand for equilibrium. So that's why just now I asked you all to highlight the words at equilibrium. Meaning that at equilibrium concentration, iodine is 0 0.02. So here is 0 0.02. Okay, then how to form this ice table? First of all, right, the question 1 can see, right? So we must find the concentration of hydrogen and iodine based on the information given. So this is, these two are the initial concentration. By using the mole over volume, so we can find out 0 0.1 molar of hydrogen and 0 0.1 molar of iodine. Okay, why here is 0? Because at the initial state, there is no product form yet. Okay? And then why negative, negative, positive? Negative, negative is for the product side. Oh, sorry, it's the reactant. Negative is for the reactant. Why? Because the concentration of the reactant getting reduced after some time. And then the product is forming after some time. That's why it's positive. So, and then why negative x? This is based on the coefficient. So, coefficient over here is 1. Here is 1. Here is 2. That's why negative x, negative x, positive 2x. Clear? Here. Yeah. And then equilibrium is initial equilibrium is the initial of the concentration plus the change of the concentration so it's 0 0.1 plus negative x so equal to 0 0.1 minus x 0 0.1 plus negative x equal to 0 0.1 minus x and then this one 0 plus 2x so equal to 2x so in this case right the question just now gives you some hints already. 
at equilibrium, the concentration of iodine is 0 0.02 molar. So 0 0.1 minus x equal to 0 0.02, meaning that this part already helped you to find out the value of x. So we no need to form the quadratic equation. So here, just take away find value x. Okay, so the value x is 0 0.1 minus x equal to 0 0.02 so 0 0.1 minus okay so equal to 0 0.08 from here we can find out the concentration of hydrogen and the concentration of hydrogen iodide at equilibrium which is 0 0.02 molar and 0 0.16 molar don't forget write down the unit this is the concentration of the species so you must write down the unit without unit okay no mark is given Okay, this is value of x, that's why you can remain as 0 0.08. We haven't answered the question yet. Let's continue. So the question one to find the KC. So we must write the KC expression. So concentration of product HI to the power of 2 over concentration to the reactant. So H2 times I2. So substitute the value that we satisfy out from here, the concentration of H2, HI and I2. Okay, so we restate again and then substitute the value and then press the calculator and then we get the answer 64. So this is the answer for KC. So step 4, KC expression right now. Step 5, substitute based on the concentration we find just now and then step 6, press the calculator, get the correct final answer. So is it the same? As I say just now, we have to follow the step 1 until step 6. Okay, next continue with another exercise. So equation is given. So KC 4.06, 500 degrees Celsius, 0 0.1 mole of carbon monoxide and 0 0.1 mole of water, volume 1 liter. Okay, what are the concentration of the reactant and product? So in this case, we need to find the concentration of the species for reactant. Okay and for product so how again step one okay write down the balance equation from the ice table in this case the value given is care c so when from the ice table we use concentration so the initial concentration given right okay the mole given 0 0.1 volume is one liter so this is the hints for us to find out the concentration of CO and H2O. So at initial state, so initial concentration, and then I say just now, for the product side, there is no product yet, that's why 0, 0. And then negative sign for the reactant, and then positive sign for the product. So O is 1, 1, 1, 1. That's why negative X, negative X, positive X, positive X. So 0 0.1 plus negative X, so 0 0.1 minus X, same. So here, positive X, positive X. Okay, step 3, write out the KC expression and the KC value is given by the question. So based on here, right, we just substitute. So x times x over 0 0.1 minus x times 0 0.1 minus x. So based on this step, right, what is the next? I think most of you can answer, right, if we check over here, what is the next? Form quadratic equation to find value x. So let's check, is it? Yes. We need to form the quadratic equation. So this is the quadratic equation. Okay. All of you have to alert. Over here, no more related with chemistry. It's all about max mathematics. So make sure you form the correct quadratic equation. Next, you must know how to press the calculator in order to find the value x. So you try to press the calculator and then you get the value x equal to 0 0.1985 and then another one is 0 0.0668. There are two values. So we have to choose one. How to choose? Okay. From here, right, since two of them, two of the value, right, are positive, we need to substitute over here. Okay. The initial concentration is 0 0.1 minus x. 0 0.1. So is it possible that value of x larger than 0 0.1? Okay, I repeat. The initial concentration over here is 0 0.1. Okay. 
if we take this value, if we take this value, means 0 0.1 minus 0 0.1 something. And then the concentration will become negative value. Is it possible for the value of concentration equal to negative? The answer is no. So, this value of x is not accepted. You have to mention that not accepted, rejected. And then another one accepted. Because when we replace this x2 over here, right? Okay, the, the value of the concentration of CO and H2O is still acceptable, still in positive value. Okay, <clears throat> so after you choose the x value and then substitute, you satisfy the concentration of CO, concentration of water, and then the concentration of CO2 and concentration of uh, hydrogen is the same because both of them are xx. That's why you can write down once only, which is 0 0.0668 molar. Okay, clear? Actually, right, you can remain your answer like this. Also, no problem. Here, no problem for you to remain the answer 0 0.0332, 0 0.0668. Acceptable. Okay, the most important thing is don't forget unit. Okay, so let's do some revision. Okay, summary. You have to keep in mind that X can be negative, but it doesn't make sense chemically if the value of concentration and pressure are negative. So x value positive or x value equal to negative is okay. But you try to substitute, okay? After you substitute the concentration and pressure in possible negative. Here. And then always remember the unit in the ice table can be molar, especially for the concentration, and then ATM for the partial pressure. So always use ice table when solving equilibrium problem. At the same time, you also must remember the relationship between KB and KC. Sometimes we need to use this equation to solve the problem. Or we might use PV equal to NRT as well. Okay, seems like not enough example, right? So let's try one more. Okay, this question... Equation is given, KC is given, and then calculate the concentration of carbon monoxide, chlorine, and COCl2 okay, phosgene when the following amount of phosgene decompose and reach equilibrium in a 10 liter flux. Okay, so given 5 mole, 0 0.1 mole, and then given volume 10 liter, meaning that here we need to find out the concentration of the initial state, okay? The initial concentration for CO, Cl2, and CO, Cl2. Okay, let's check. First, make sure the equation is balanced and then form the ice table. At the initial, okay, based on just now, right, the given number of mole is 5 mole, volume is 10. So 5 over 10 equal to 0 0.5 molar. Okay, as I discussed before, the concentration of the product is Nothing, zero, zero. And then the change based on coefficient, reactor must be negative sign, negative x, and then product must be positive sign, so positive x, positive x. So at equilibrium is 0 0.5 plus negative x, so 0 0.5 minus x. This one positive x, so x. 0 plus x equal to x. So this is the expression at equilibrium. So step 3, write out the KC or KP. In this case, is KC expression. Okay, write down the KC expression, concentration of CO times Cl2, this is product, over reactant, concentration CO, Cl2, and then substitute x times x equal to x squared over 0 0.5 minus x, and then the KC value is given. Here, the KC value is given. Okay, what is the next step? I think most of you can answer, right? Next, you need to form the quadratic equation. Form the quadratic equation to help you to find the value of x. So there are two answers. In this case, we straight away um, take the positive value. Why? If you substitute the negative value, let's check what happened. Here, if the x is equal to negative value, so the concentration will be negative. So impossible. That's why we take this 0 0.02, not negative value. And then... Okay, the question want us to find out what uh, concentration of CO, Cl2 and COCl when following. Okay, so next. Since we success find out the value of X and then we just substitute. 
substitute over here. So 0 0.5 minus the x, okay, and this is x, x straight away. So this is the answer, x for CO, carbon monoxide, and then x for chlorine. So this is the concentration of chlorine and carbon monoxide. And then for phosgene, 0 0.5 minus x. So this is the concentration for phosgene. Remember, after you substitute, you must write the correct answer with unit. In this case, concentration. So must with the unit molar, capital M. Don't forget, huh? Okay. Okay, for part B, the concept still the same. Just the number of moles is different. We still form the balance, write out the balance equation from the ice table, ICE, ice table, and then the concept, okay. This is the initial concentration of phosgene, and then there is no product yet, that's why 0, 0, minus x plus x plus x. So sum up 0 0.1 minus x, x, x. So from the KC expression and substitute the value from over here. Okay, so yeah, we need to substitute the value over here. This three value into the KC expression. In state, this stage, there is no value yet. Okay, there is no value for the x value. So we just substitute as normal. And then this is the KC, as KC value. Next, from the quadratic equation, okay, and then find out the value of x. Again, negative is possible because concentration impossible, negative value. So this is accepted value x, and then you substitute, and then you get the answer. CO and CL2 is equal to x, so this is the answer. 2.5 times 10 to the power of negative 3 molar, and then this one is 0 0.010 0 minus x. So you get 7.5 times 10 to the power of negative 3 molar. Okay, Okay. I think you're all still fresh, right? Let's continue one more formula. Okay, part 4. Define and determine the degree of dissociation. Okay, the degree of dissociation represented by the symbol alpha. Okay, what is degree of dissociation? It's a fraction to which molecule dissociate decompose into smaller molecule or atom. So alpha equal to x. Okay, this x is depends on uh, change in concentration of a reactant x. Might be 2x, might be 3x. Uh, depends on the question. And then over the initial concentration of reactant. Okay, initial concentration of the reactant. If we check by using this ice table, this is the initial concentration. Okay, uh, here is a change of the x value. Okay, so change in concentration of reactant. So meaning that over here, negative x. So it's 0 0.01 minus over negative uh over negative x. Some, some sort like this. Uh. Okay, let's check in detail by using example, then you will know more. Um before I proceed, right, I want to check about percentage of dissociation. The concept is the same, but you just need to times 100 percent uh. Okay, now let's check. Okay, question. I think this is example 4. A 0 0.024 mole of sample of uh, N2O4 gas is allowed to come to equilibrium. Equilibrium is very important uh, with NO2 in a 0 0.372 liter flux. So this is the equation given. Yes, imbalance. Okay, KC value is given. Now the question asks to calculate the degree of dissociation of N2O4. Okay. The step is exactly the same as previous discussion. We need to write down the equation. And then step 2, we need to form the ice table. In this case, involve number of mole and volume. So most properly, and KC is given. So most properly, the ice table might be in concentration. Okay, so 0 0.024 mole given. Here's 0 0.024 mole given. Volume 0 0.372, so over 0 0.372. So this is the initial concentration for N2O4, 0 0.0645. Since the mole is written here, right? So we don't need to write over here because the unit over here already. So the concentration of the product is equal to 0. Negative x, positive 2x. Sum up equal to 0 0.0645 minus x here, 2x. Don't forget, write down the KC expression. So write down the KC expression for this case, KC expression. Okay, and then substitute 2x to the power of 2. Uh. Okay, don't forget uh, here, 2 right to the power of 2. That's why 2x is to, to the power of 2x as well, over 0 0.0645 minus x. And then the KC value is given, so we need to find out the, form the quadratic equation first. 
So this is the quadratic equation. And then press the calculator, find out the x value. Okay, there are two x value. Again, we check. The concentration over here is 2x. That's why two, the x value impossible negative value because concentration cannot be negative. Sorry, yeah. Again, the concentration of the reaction impossible negative. That's why we cannot take the negative value. Huh? So x1 is equal to 0 0.00806. Now you can okay, replace the concentration. Okay, again, this value doesn't make sense chemically yeah, because concentration cannot be negative value. Huh? So you substitute over here. What is the x value? The x value is 0 0.00806. Okay, what is the initial concentration? 0 0.0645. Okay, so, and then, so this is, okay, mm cancel off. That's why alpha no unit. Huh? So the degree of dissociation equal to 0 0.125. Okay, so we try for example already. Okay, we learned how to find the equilibrium quantities when the concentration partial pressure is given, then we find out the KC or KP, or we find out the concentration partial pressure, the equilibrium quantities when the initial quantity KP or KC is given. Okay, we also learn. Another new formula about degree of dissociation. Alpha equal to x over c. C is the initial concentration, x is the change in concentration. Okay. If you notice right, all of this question, right, we need to follow the step. First, balance equation. Remember it's reversible uh? equation. Uh? Two from the ice table. And then fill in the initial concentration or partial pressure or number of mole. And then the change of the concentration, partial pressure or number of mole according to the equation. Okay. And then for quadratic equation to find value of x, write down the KC or Capri expression, substitute and then answer the question. Okay. Now please try the tutorial question. So to check whether you understand or not. Okay. Next class. Or next video, we will discuss about the tutorial question that related with the KC, KP, or the quantities of species present at equilibrium and calculate the degree of dissociation as well.